Not only came, he'll come again. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven. With the shout of the voice of an archangel, the trumpet of God, and the dead in Christ shall we rise first. Then we that are alive and remain shall be called on there to be the Lord in the clouds. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. First Thessalonians 4, 16 through 17. Somebody shout, the trump will sound. Hallelujah. Ready or not, here he comes. Amen. He came once and he will come again. You, you ever heard those folks, you know, that's always harping on something? Amen. They some folks got a built in harp. It's always harping on something. Amen. Always defensive about something concerning doctrine. And you, you meet them all the time, especially this time of year. They're so righteous and so holy. They say we don't celebrate Christmas at all. My Lord. Why is that? Because we really don't know when he was born. They say. My Lord. They say you celebrate on December the 25th. That's traditionally it, but history says he was born in the spring. <laughs> Look at your neighbor and say, it feels like spring. It feels like spring. Southeast Georgia, right now. <laughs> But don't get used to it. Jimmy Willie will come. Praise God. Hallelujah. But, but they're, they're always defensive, you know, you know. So we don't celebrate it all because that's not the time. That's not the day he was really born on. Amen. And then you got others, you know, they go from goofy to glory to a spot like that. Amen. Or yeah, you know what I'm saying? Or from glory to goofy. Praise God. And the church went. <laughs> Amen. I mean, I'm telling you, they so prophetic, they pathetic. Praise God. And, 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 what, and what they get harping on is simply this. You know, they 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 they, they harp on this message. Uh, uh, they try to predict when Jesus is coming again. They all they're always predicting. Somebody shout any time somebody predicts the exact date of his coming. That's a sure sign they're false prophet. Why do you say that? Because in the word of God in Matthew 24 verse 36, Jesus said, no man knows the day of the hour. Only my father. Praise God. Amen. So you got the same spirit that's of error, the spirit of error, contradicting the spirit of truth, which is Holy Ghost. And both of them are operating out of the same spirit and don't even realize it. The guy that's always saying Jesus is coming, in three weeks from now, at 3 p.m. Somebody shout, he's a liar. Somebody shout, he'd come today. I'll tell you, Jesus, the only hour Jesus told us he would come in is in Matthew 24, 44. He said, in an hour you think not. The Son of Man's coming. Praise God. Hallelujah. Boy, if we ain't living in that day, in an hour, many are thinking not. Many are mowing their grass this morning on the Lord's day. Many are on their way fishing. I'm telling you, I drive an hour and 20 minutes to get here. I see all kinds of stuff going on. Praise God. Many are on their way to the mall. They're on their way to anywhere. Praise God. Some still in the recliner. Praise the Lord God. In a day we think not. The Hebrews 10 25 said, Forsake not the assembling of yourselves together as the manner of you see that day approaching. What day is coming? But exhorting one another the much more as you see that day approaching. You'll stay in the house if you believe he's coming in the future. But if you believe he's coming at any moment, you get his house. Come on. Hallelujah. Praise God. Now if that offends you, you just have to straighten your halo up on you. Your horn. <laughs> Let's get back to the harping instead of the horn. Hallelujah. So, so, so they, they harp about, oh, Jesus is coming at a Pacific date in the future. And then you got all these Christmas, these Christmas haters. Come on, somebody. They're, they're so spiritual elite within the Christian community that they don't even celebrate it none of the time. Because their defense is it didn't happen on December the 25th. Well, in Matthew chapter 2, which takes place about two years after Christ was born in Bethlehem, uh, this happens as he's about two years of age, Jesus is. The Magi, the wise men, it don't see how many, and it's okay to depict three, but the scripture does not really tell us how many, but they came from the far east to worship him. Look at your neighbor and say, when you come to worship him, the travel ain't too far. It's amazing. People will go on long journeys for a vacation, but complain just to go around the block from a vi for a visitation. Somebody say a church of lives worth the drive. Somebody say a church that's right is worth the flight. Yeah. 